Hi, I'm Matt, and my journey as a writer kind of began as a kid when I had the good fortune of meeting people from all over the world, and I was struck by how similar our senses of humor, our need for affection, our desires, our passions, and our thoughts were. And I was also struck at that time, uh, as a result, by how many borders and conflicts seem to stand in the way of what we naturally uh, seem to crave as people. I had art all around me in the forms of poetry and music and painting, and so I, it seemed that art was the best way to try and transform these, these uh, barriers between us. Now, as a kid in a family where I was the youngest child and my father had lots of medical issues that caused his death at 46, it was important for me to try and find a voice. And when I was 11, I got my brother's hand-me-down Commodore 64, and it was love at first right. I typed on that thing every single night. And I found a voice that made me feel like I could make sense of the world and explore it and try to understand where we're headed in terms of uh, searching for truth and, and appreciating the richness of the world. When I was 15, my English teacher uh, asked, did I do any more writing outside of school? And I said, yeah. And I shared some with him and I was blown away by his feedback. And it, it showed me that there can be a community for sharing art and words and language to get at some sort of intimate connection. In college, I looked for a writing community and didn't really find one. I had amazing instructors, but didn't fall into a community where I felt uh, inspired to, to write all the time and share all the time. Uh, so when I became a teacher, which I've been doing for 16 years now, it was important for me to set up that kind of community in my classroom after school and did so, so that teenagers who very much want to express and explore and try to get at the samenesses and truths uh, could do so outside of isolation with each other. And now that I'm a published author, uh, it, it, I'm able to connect with even more communities within the, uh, New York and Long Island, sharing writing, uh, being with audiences, and using art more than ever to try and efface some of those boundaries that get in the way of peace. And so that's, in a nutshell, how I got to be where I am.